In this quick tip video, we'll look at creating halftone text in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. I'm here in Affinity Photo and I have this comic background open here. Let's create some text to start with. I'll select my artistic text tool over here, so I'll click that. Then I'll click and drag on my canvas and I'll type a word. Now I have a font I like called Comic Hero. Let me search for that. I'll select this, Comic Hero. I got this font from Creative Fabrica. You can buy fonts individually there, or if you have a subscription, you can download all the fonts you want. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I'll give it some temporary color. Let's give it a little bit of style too. I'll select effects. I'll start with a black outline. So I'll select outline and check that. Let's make the radius big there. I also want to give it a white outline. So I'll add another outline by clicking plus. Now the outlines act as layers here. So the one on the bottom is below. I'll make it white. Now you're not going to see the white outline yet because it's below the black outline. But if I increase the radius of the white outline, you'll see it show up. So that's how I like to create double outlines for text. We can also add an outer shadow, just give it a little bit of depth. I'll increase the radius, the offset, the intensity. And this is our starter text. Now I could just add a halftone filter to this text directly, but there's something I don't like about that effect. I'll add it and show you what I mean. So with my text selected, I'm going to click the live filters here. And then I'm going to add a halftone. So I'll click that. And there's all sorts of settings here that you can play with. Personally for dot, I usually like round, but you can try cosine and you can change the size of these cells there. So here we have a halftone effect. Now usually you want the size to vary on the dots and you can do that with a gradient. So let me disable the halftone for the time being. On my comics layer for the color, I'll just add a gradient here. Now it doesn't have to be black and white, but I'll make it black and white just so it's clear. Now let me turn my halftone back on. So at a glance, it's starting to look like what we want. But if I zoom in, you can see these strange artifacts on the edges of the letters here. And this is something that often happens with the halftone filter when you apply it to shapes and letters. So this is why I don't apply it to letters directly. Let me delete the halftone here. Instead, I'm going to make a rectangle and add a halftone to that. So let's do that. I'll select the rectangle here. Just drag it out. Bring it to the front. We'll give it a gradient. Let's give it a black and white gradient. And with the rectangle selected, let's add a halftone to that. So I'll click Live Filters, Halftone. I'll do my round dots here. I'll adjust them to something I like. And I'll close it. Now you can see the same effect happening with the rectangle here. The top, we're getting these thick dots. And also we're getting this pattern on the edges here. But the nice thing is that if we clip our rectangle into the text, these won't be visible. So let me take the rectangle here. I'll drag it into the text and I'm going to let go over the letters. And now our rectangle is contained inside the letters here. And because the rectangle boundaries are outside of the text, you're not seeing that distorted effect anymore. So that's what I like about this method. Now you can modify the way the halftone appears here. You can move the rectangle around just as long as you don't get those edges visible. You can also adjust the gradient on the halftone. So you can move it in different directions. You can change the values if you want. Now, of course, the main thing you want to change is the color. So let's look at how to do that. With my rectangle selected, I'm going to add a gradient map. And that's a type of adjustment. So I'll click the adjustments down here. And then I'll click gradient map. The gradient map will take a range of colors and map them onto the darks and lights in your image. So here the reds are being mapped onto the black colors. The blues are being mapped onto the whites. And the green is being mapped onto the midtones, which there aren't many of in this halftone here. So let's change these colors to something we want. First, we can delete the green. So I'll delete that. Instead of red, I'll go with some type of orange. So I'll select the red control point here. I'll click the color. Let's change it to orange. Somewhere around there. We can change it later easily. And for the blue, I'll click that. Let's change it to yellow. And now this is looking much more like a comic effect. So let's look at the end result of all our changes. Before, after. Before, after. If you want to know more about the halftone control, check out my video on that topic. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.